what's going on guys Anzo here and welcome to the official series now I know the last video that was my first time smoking a cigar but this time I'm gonna make an official name for it it's gonna be called Angelo cigar lounge I think that fits it well this is my little area now I'm kind of on the porch don't worry I probably won't be here much longer but uh, I do have two cigars here we're not gonna be trying both of them today but I'm gonna be trying this one which is Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Bellicoso Cameroon so I don't know if that's honestly Hispanic or not, but I do know it is from the Dominican Republic. The wrapper's made of Cameroon, and then the length of it is 5 3 8 inch. The filler in this one is Dominican Republic, as well as the uh, binder is Dominican Republic. The cost of this was eleven seventy five. I got this at uh, Ashland Cigar Realm. Uh, you can check them out. They're awesome. They do an amazing job. Shout out to Bill. He was the person who really helped me out this time. The inside of the place just gives you a whole different vibe. It feels amazing. It just feels like... You're in a whole nother world, and I really like the way they showcase their cigars there. They're just super helpful people. I also got my lighter refilled, which was free. They do that free of charge, especially if you if you buy like the lighter there, they do a free of charge, or you can buy like the actual thing to refill your uh, lighter, and it's like about seven or eight dollars. Now I've learned a lot of things since the last video, and I really do appreciate all the hate as well as the amount of people who really just gave me a lot of like great feedback. The cigar community, you guys are awesome, and y'all are really helpful like both men and women like they all reached out to me and told me about some amazing cigar companies and you don't have to go all out if you don't want to i knew davidoff was one of like their higher like brands out there for the cigar community i also have a my father's here we're not going to be checking that one out today uh we're going to be checking out this one like i said uh, i'll do this one on the next video this one's a lighter type of cigar this one as you can kind of tell it's it's a darker uh it looks darker in color and it's supposed to mean that it's supposed to be more rich uh there was literally a cat over there that just came out of nowhere and it's walking over in the distance uh like i said i'm on my porch right now so if you hear like any background noise hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up too loud but you might hear cars pass by every once in a while i'll actually go ahead and unravel it and see what it looks like i want to make sure i don't break this or anything it's always interesting to me how they're so light I always think it's gonna be like heavier or something, but they're really light. All right, so we'll go ahead and take this thing off here. I don't smell anything yet. I do know every time I walk into the cigar, like the, the cigar lounge, it just smells amazing though. Oh, it feels good though. I do have a little bowl here because I don't have like an ashtray thing yet or like a dispenser. I don't, I forget the official name. I think it is an ashtray, but uh, that's what it looks like. I'll give you all a close up. Now, I do want to go ahead and point out, it is pretty chilly out here, so I do want to go ahead and get this thing lit because I don't want to, you know, like, it's meant to be in more of, like, a warmer environment, and I don't have a humidor yet, and I do think I'm going to probably purchase one, obviously, because I don't know when I'm going to be smoking this, uh, my father's one, anytime soon. Like I said, this is going to be, like, maybe a every other month type of thing, but if you want to see more videos, just be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also comment below and just share with your friends. It really does help me know that you want to see more content like this and it also helps the YouTube algorithm. So yeah, overall this one, it does smell different. It smells different than the, uh, which one did I have? The Davidoff one. It smells a little bit different. It doesn't smell as like strong but i have a feeling it is going to be stronger the notes in this one are supposed to be a uh, cedar cinnamon it's supposed to have very earthiness to it and it has a little bit of pepper from what a lot of people have said uh i've read a couple of reviews and watched a couple of videos a lot of people say this is a beautiful uh cigar and i can't wait to try it so i don't want to waste really any more time i don't want like the video to be super long how it was last time i do remember though a lot of you all said, make sure you don't smoke from the foot. I had no idea that this was the foot of the cigar and me thinking that I knew everything in the other video, it just was a mess. But it still tasted good though. The cigar still tasted great. It's just, it wasn't supposed to be that open. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do a better cut this time. This one is the V cut with a guillotine cutter as well. And you guys know I love that sound. It sounds amazing. Let's go ahead and get right into this thing. I don't I don't want to do a V-cut this time. I might do it on the next one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do uh, the regular guillotine one. Oh, that one was better than last time. The first time I did it, I, I struggled. 
I got it this time. What do y'all think? Is that good? Let me know what y'all think. I think it's pretty good though this time. It's not it's not super even. I should have got it a little bit more even. I should have held it a little more like carefully. But I think that's pretty good. Uh, that's what the top looks like. And I'm also going to go ahead and put like the My Fathers away because it is getting kind of cold outside. So I don't want to make that. I don't want to change like what happens to like that cigar because I do know uh, they are precious. So they, they, they can last a long time though obviously from what I've heard. If you put the cigars in a humidor, it should last like they say a really long time. But I'm going to put this in the house really quick and come back with you guys. Alright, so today is January 10th at uh, 4.35 p.m. Uh, it's about to be like sunset over here on the east coast in Virginia. Pretty chilly day, probably like 45 degrees. It's honestly dropping pretty dramatically. So I do, I want to still smoke this for as long as I can. I'll see how long it lasts. Another thing y'all told me to keep the sticker on, and I am, because it does look pretty cool with it on. And uh, yeah, it also holds like the tobacco leaves from what y'all said. So let's go ahead and get this thing lit. And another thing that you all reminded me of is that make sure not just to smoke this part that you cut, but when you lighting it, it's not going to come on yet. You got to give it a minute. But when you light it, you have to make sure that you don't torch it. Just heat it up like, you know, a chimney or something. Okay, guys. So I had to cut because my lighter is acting ridiculous. And it wasn't one. I think it's because it's super cold outside. I should have, like, warmed it up inside. But it's okay. We're going to have to go old school and use the match, which there's no problem with that. I just probably should have got a really long match that way it doesn't burn out as fast but we'll still try to make do with what we got because i still want to experience the cigar cars rolling by hopefully that doesn't affect anything here we go what the i get why they say to use an extra long one now because it gives you time to you know light it but you know Give it a second. I'll give it a second really quick. Okay. So this one's definitely richer for sure. But I'm going to give it a little bit more time just so you know it opens up. Because that's what they say. You might want to give it a little bit more time. So here we go. I definitely taste more like cinnamon, I guess you could say. And it smells really good though. Like, this one smells way better than the Davidoff one, for sure. The Davidoff one was good, but this one smells really nice. I think it's definitely better that I did it outside this time, because, and it's it's nice that it is colder, because it's not, like, gonna get as, like, much in the air, I guess. It's, this one just smells really good. Like, it tastes nice. <laughs> I like this one. So, Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Bellicoso Cameroon. Very long name, but great taste and you know what i think i actually am going to make this series to be like more laid back and longer and the reason why is because that's what you're supposed to do with a cigar it's not to meant to be quick so why make the video quick um i'll let you guys know when i get back a little further down and i'm just going to kind of enjoy this so yeah So, I'm a little bit further now, obviously you can tell, it's kind of, it's rolling really fast. Um, this one's definitely smaller than like, that Davidoff was too long. Let me tell y'all something. I smoked that thing, and it was it was like almost 11 o'clock by the time I finished it. It was such a long smoke, I wasn't expecting it to be that long, but they were serious. Like, I didn't realize that's really how long it takes for it to kind of burn out. Like I said, this one is five and three eighths inch, so it's nothing too long. This one will probably last you about 45 minutes. Um, 
I, th I had to relight it, uh, as you can kind of tell, but it's still burning really well. Turns out the match works really well. Uh, overall, though, uh, it, it tastes amazing. I'm getting, like, a lot of better notes now. Now, I also have some uh, apple pie moonshine. I don't know if it really would go well with this, but we can see. So now this one, uh, this apple pie moonshine is from when I turned 21 in September. We just left it in the fridge. Obviously it's in one of these little, uh, I forget what these are called, but they help preserve it like a little bit longer. Let's see how that mixes though, because this has like cinnamon notes to it and like uh, some molasses. And like I said, I do taste those woody notes for sure now. Now this stuff burns. <laughs> uh, burns like burns like tequila almost. So I'm not going to take a lot of it either. Luckily, I don't have to like be in the work till way later. And this isn't even a lot. This is like, what, a 50 ml bottle? So it's not, it's like maybe a couple ounces. No special glasses this time, but hopefully when I get my, uh, if I get a place soon, I'll, I won't even be here. Like I said, this is just my porch right now. Oh yeah, that's, it definitely warms you up a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now I see why you guys like to smoke and drink. <laughs> It's, I get it. I definitely understand why this is a hobby. It's, I wouldn't do this all the time, but like I said, once a month and, oh, happy new year, guys. Uh, yeah, happy new year. So yeah, if you're watching this later than the new year, then March, April, whenever, still happy new year. So yeah, that's nice. That combination right there. Apple pie moonshine. Who's this by again? Old Smoky Moonshine. Old Smoky Moonshine and uh, Don Carlos. Yeah, that's a nice vibe right there. All right, so we're getting to the end now. Uh, pretty much the end. I usually stop about right here. Um, I'd usually try to stop right there just because I think that's like a nice stopping point and usually I kind of just let the up oh, It just dropped. I usually just let like the smoke come out. Um, look at that coal though. It looks really nice Overall though is this is a great cigar uh, I wouldn't say it's better than the Davidoff, but I really do like the flavors from this one more uh, I'm really interested in seeing how the my father's is because everyone commemorates uh, my father's for having some like the best cigars out there and I can't wait to try that one next. Like I said, this ain't going to be some like thing that I do every single week. No. But every month maybe. Every, by, maybe like every month, every other month, I'll try to do one of those for you guys, for my cigar lovers. And again, if you don't like smoking or something, again, this video isn't for you. Uh, but this might be for some of my other viewers. I want to have something for everyone on the channel. But if you did enjoy this video, please let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below as well as give it a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and it also helps me to know that you want to see more content like this. And if you want to join the O Squad, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate you all to join the channel and whatnot and see everything that I have to offer on here because there's a lot more than just cigars. There's a lot more than just food reviews. We have tech unboxings for laptops. Uh, we do amusement park vlogs. I love roller coasters. So if you're with me on that, I know a lot of people on the channel really come there for that. But again, I'm liking the cigar thing. Uh, I'll try to do more of these videos because I know a lot of you all like it. I'd really like to know how I did uh, th this video and if I cut it better. Uh, what you think of overall me giving the information out? I had to write it down this time because I want to make sure I got everything right. This is a good cigar and lasts like a nice 45 minutes to almost an hour. Uh, I'm not really looking for like that hour and a half smoke. Maybe some days I will be wanting that. Uh, I definitely want to get the humidor to see what difference that plays on like the cigars because I know you're supposed to do like 70% humidity and that's supposed to help it a lot. So yeah, but thank you all for watching once again and until next time, peace out.